Hi guys, me again, Barnaby Slater for Spurred On, and this is part two of this week's Youth Watch with Craig Vi. Craig, are you still there for us? I'm still of here, raring to go. Of course you are, you wouldn't leave us like that. So, uh, just like I said at the end of part one, if you haven't watched that, do go and watch it. Uh, a couple of our young players have signed new contracts, and they're very talented, aren't they? Tell us about that, Craig. They are indeed. Well, in the first instalment of Youth Watch, I talked quite a bit about Josh and Oma, and I'm really, really pleased to say that despite all of the interest and, and rumours linking him to other clubs, possibly, we have tied him down to a longer contract. He signs until 2019. So that is great news for the club because there really were quite uh, a few clubs interested in trying to poach him. Yeah, and he came on against the All-Stars and uh, made himself a decent little chance, a good little run. Uh, felt like he should have probably laced it in the end. He tried to place it, but uh, looks like a talent. Yeah, and exactly. And those are the things, of course, that, that, that those kind of decision-making things are, it, is what will come over time yeah. that you hope with a player like that. But he's and, got it all And then there, the, other, so the other new contract great. is Marcus Edwards. The other, yeah, that's right, yeah. So we've tied down Marcus Edwards. And again, this is a bit of a coup because clubs such as Barcelona mm. were really, really keen to take him off of our hands. I mean, this is a player who is being talked about right across Europe. He's one of the hottest prospects, teenage prospects. He's only 16 uh, at the moment, and uh, everyone seems to want this kid. He's, he's, he's very talented. And, I, and from what I understand, he was seriously considering moving elsewhere. So... We've done very, very well to convince him, at least for the time being, to stay uh, for a bit longer. So, fingers crossed, uh, we, we keep uh, improving the lad and we, we get to bring him on. Brilliant, nice and, and I love his afro, most importantly, so that's that's good too. Yeah, yeah And, um, and yeah. then, uh, also you mentioned in the first part, uh, some of the players who've been in some of the pre-season tournaments. Uh, let us know a little bit about how our, our youth teams did in those. Yeah, so um, I'll start under 16s. Under 16s, slightly indifferent. I mean, a lot of these are, are new players or players who perhaps have only been around in the, the year one uh, academy uh, team. Uh, they won three and lost three at a tournament that was held at Hotspur Way, our training facility, quite recently. Um, so slightly indifferent there, but of course, you know, these are players that are learning a lot all of the time. The under 18s, however, boy, did they come out of the blocks far in this preseason. They smashed mm -hmm. MK Dons in an earlier game in the summer, 7 0. But they've just played a tournament at Hotspur Way against, uh, it was five teams in the tournament, including us. And they won all four matches. Good. They beat Liverpool 5 2. They beat Ipswich 4 1. Easy. They beat Man United 3 1 and Rose 2 1. Yeah. So, uh, and, and Marcus Edwards is now playing for the under 18, so that and probably gives you some indication. Am I indication right in thinking that the, the under 18s is the team from, that uh, ends up playing in the youth cup? That's the, that's the age group, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, um, you know, we, yeah, it'd we be good to win that, wouldn't it? Like, I always end up season. watching the final. We uh, get to the semis, but we never quite make the final. Yeah. And you see clubs like Norwich yeah, won it a couple of years ago, yeah, and you're like, come you know, on. <laughs> I know, exactly. And, and you know, Playing teams yeah. like Ipswich now in those tournaments, you think really? But um, of course, you know Southampton all those years ago when they when they weren't in the Premier League, they still had an incredible academy. So it, it, academies is where it's at for those particular tournaments. Um, okay, and then just finally before you go, you want to talk about the two grants? Tell us about the two grants, Craig. Yeah, the tale, the tale of two grants. So first and foremost, Grant Hall, a 23 year old defender that's been on our books for some time. He had a couple of loans last season at Championship clubs. Uh, it, it looks like that we're showing him towards the exit door. He's just been on trial at QPR. Um, Chris Ramsey, uh, of course, who was at Spurs, talked a little bit about him, saying he was he was relatively impressed, and they might be looking in to bring him in on on loan or, or maybe on a permanent deal. He won't be a, 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 a first team player necessarily, but I think it, it's likely that he's moving towards the exit door. The other Grant I spoke to, I spoke about him in the first instalment mm -hmm. is Grant Ward. Uh, he's been on loan at Rotherham, and again, he is just absolutely on fire. He is smashing in the goals. So we're going to keep a close watch on Grant Ward uh, during his time at Rotherham, and who knows, he might be uh, called back early into the first team if we need some goals, if Harry Kane's struggling from second season syndrome. That was going Craig, thank you so much again for coming in and telling us all about the youth team. Guys, sure. do write a comment in the comment section below about what your thoughts on our young guns are. It's a really great time to be a fan of Spurs in terms of young players getting their chance in the first team. Do subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. and we'll be back for another Youth Watch with Craig Vibe very soon. <laughs>